Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to sort of quickly talk about some of the reasons why I think attending a programming bootcamp is a really good idea and why you should consider enrolling uh, if it's an option for you. And then also, I'm gonna tell you guys some of the reasons why I think you should probably not be attending a bootcamp as well. One thing I do wanna mention here right off the bat is that I never attended a bootcamp as a student, but I was an instructor for a bootcamp called Mobile Makers in San Francisco uh, during March of 2016. So while I didn't really go through some of the same stress and mental anxieties as some of the students went through, uh, I definitely was there to kind of help them through their struggles. So I kind of know how all of it works inside of a bootcamp. All right, so I think the biggest selling point of attending a bootcamp is the fact that the environment that they put you in, I think is pretty much the perfect place to learn how to program. And what I mean is that programming is sort of a skill similar to learning how to play the piano or learning how to play the violin. These skills take many, many hours a day to get good at. And it takes uh, probably eight to 10 hours a day to sort of perfect. And the bootcamp, what it kind of enables you to do and what they force you to do is to stay in the classroom for eight to 10 hours a day and try to get really, really good at learning how to program. Uh, if you're not in this type of environment, what you'll find is that you'll often slack off and you often, you often don't know what to learn next. So for some of you guys that don't really know how a bootcamp is structured, basically you attend the class at about 9 a.m. in the morning, and then once you get there, the instructor, for example, me, we come in at about 9.30 and we start sort of a mini lecture. And then during that lecture, we have a semi-live coding session. And this session ends at about 12 o'clock. The students go to lunch and they come back at 1.30. And at 1.30, the staff at the bootcamp, we give all of the students a really, really tough project to complete for the entire day. And typically the whole project takes about six to seven hours to complete. And what you'll find is that, is that a lot of the students stay after class in order to complete the entire feature set. Okay, so while I think this type of approach is sort of perfect for learning how to program, one thing that you'll find is that if you have different priorities in life, such as taking care of kids or taking care of other family members, you can find it really hard to dedicate yourself completely to the program. So my suggestion for you, if you find yourself in that boat, is to sort of delay enrolling into the bootcamp for now, and then take care of your priorities first, and then enroll in this bootcamp a little bit later on. Okay, so the next really, really great thing about these bootcamps is the fact that the acceptance rate is really, really low. And what this sort of means for you is that these students you kind of encounter and find yourself working together with, kind of in groups later on, is that these students are extremely hardworking and really, really bright. And so you're gonna find yourself having a pretty rewarding experience and you're gonna be able to build really long lasting friendships uh, later down the road. One little minor thing that you do have to be concerned about here is that in terms of the acceptance criteria for the bootcamp, there really isn't an age restriction or a skill level restriction here. So sometimes what you'll find is that you might be working with people that are either a lot older or a lot younger than you are, right? So what can happen is that there can be an age gap or a culture gap that exists between you and your group members in a particular project. And sometimes there can be a little bit of friction between you and your team members in terms of getting things done. And also in terms of skill level, sometimes you'll be working with people that have prior programming experience and you might find yourself having to do a little bit of catch up work to kind of get, uh, get yourself on track and get yourself on the same level as some of these other students. But I think it's sort of a minor obstacle and a little bit of hard work can, uh, can overcome that. All right, so the other really, really good thing about these boot camps is the kind of quick exposure and hands-on experience that you get while you're there. So what I mean is there really isn't any other place where they'll give you this type of experience in the short amount of time that they promise you. And if you are someone that likes to dive into the deep end of the pool and you know you can succeed in this type of environment, I think you'll find it to be a very, very enjoyable experience. Here's one bad thing about boot camps, but it's not really unique to the boot camp industry. And what you'll find is that if you are learning under a bad instructor that is doing a really bad job at teaching you the particular subject, you're gonna find yourself falling behind rather quickly. So my suggestion for you is if you run into this scenario, go find and go seek help from the other instructors at that same bootcamp, and also seek help from the other students that are performing really well in your class. Here's one important thing I wanna urge you to consider here. Uh, if you are deciding on enrolling into a bootcamp, make sure to pick one that is in a smart location, especially one that's near sort of a tech hub, right? If you want to go to a bootcamp to get placed in a job 
after you graduate, the best chances are if you attend one that's near a tech hub such as San Francisco, you know, Silicon Valley, or even Seattle, New York, or perhaps Austin, if you want a job, the best chances are the jobs that are available are going to be in or near those tech hubs. Okay, so one last thing I want to say before I let you go today is that if you want to get a taste or feel for what these boot camps have to offer, uh, you can go to my website and just purchase the basic training course. It's really cheap, only $20. Uh, a lot of students have already taken it and they have really enjoyed the content and then you'll enjoy it too. But in conclusion, I think boot camps are really good in accelerating the learning process on how to program. If you have the option of attending one, I think you should definitely give it a shot. Now, remember not everyone that attends a boot camp is going to have success. But if you're paired up with excellent instructors and excellent group members, I think you're gonna find yourself having a really rewarding experience, kind of regardless of whether or not you get placed in a job. So one last thing I want you to remember here is that you're only gonna get the most out of your investment if you dedicate 100% of yourself to that program. I hope you found today's information about boot camps helpful. Uh, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. All right, that's going to be it for me today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.